another episode of Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey. It's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205. Man, I got Bo in the building. Oh, got my man Grizz back in the building. What up, though? Got my man Angry Principal holding it down. What's up? We got Diddy off in the corner somewhere hiding. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis, man, holding it down again from the 48205, dog. And again, everybody loves BBW, man. That's Beards, Bourbon, and Whiskey, dog. All right, so we got a special show for y'all today, man. We got a. Uh, to, uh, well, one of my favorites, uh, one of uh, everybody else's favorites, everybody else like Wolf of Reserve. Uh, I like it. I think it's all right. But uh, Buffalo Trace is my shit. So we're having a blind tasting today, man. So we had Grizz is our uh, special guest today. So he was able to go ahead and pour up some glasses for us, and we go have a blind taste test. I already smelled mine, so I know which I know which is which are uh, off rip. And if I'm wrong. I've already vowed, if you've seen the last episode we did, uh, Tim Smith Whiskey and Rye, um, Tim Smith Whiskey is horrible to me, and I vowed today, if I lose this taste test, I would drink Tim Smith, I would drink the rest of that bottle by myself. Somebody get that bottle up out here. I would drink the rest of that bottle <laughs> by myself, because that shit was trash. So that's like, that's the that's the loser, that's the loser award. But I already know which is which, dog. So how we gonna do this? Like, how we doing it? So this is the Battle of the Gateway Bourbons. Uh... Woofer Reserve was my first bourbon. That's what got me into bourbon. Uh, a little later, Buffalo Trace started uh, coming out, and that's been another one. I think Bo said he was introduced mm-hmm. to bourbon through Buffalo Trace. So I said, well, since we have these two gateways, we I was know introduced the name through Creek too. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's try these two for yeah. this t- for was, this show. Was now was Nile Creek a, a gateway to you, though? I think no, I, 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 I overdid it. I didn't have it till later. Yeah, and then you put me on the shit first, yeah. though. You see, that, that's not but fair. But that was your gateway. Yeah, I think you know? I overdid it. I did. That's not fair. Who, who, who jumps from Hennessy to Knob Creek? Like, who does that? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was unfair, nigga. All right, anyway, go ahead. It's what I was drinking at the time, so. Hey, yeah, you know. so you made me drink the shit. Right. So, right, so anyway. Uh, we, I, the challenge is do a blind tasting of Wolf of Reserve and Buffalo Trace, Battle of the Gateway, Bourbons. Because most people that you talk to, it's one of these two bourbons that at least got them introduced mm-hmm, to the sure. bourbon scene. So, I wanted to see what everybody thought. No doubt. And like, just to uh, piggyback on that, dog, Wolf Reserve is not one of my favorites. And I haven't had it in a long time. But, I know my shit so well that I know which one is the one that I fucks with. Here we go. I'm just saying, though. So, how we doing it? Like, how we, how does it work? Uh, we basically taste and make a decision. And then make a decision? Yeah. All right, well, shit, I already know. And, you want to go and first? Smell, say, say what you think, give yeah. your opinions on everything, and then we decide. Okay, well, I already know. The motherfucking vanilla and the cocoa, nigga. This is definitely motherfucking Buffalo Trace. I know that's what this is, because okay. I know my shit. I'm pretty certain. <laughs> I'm pretty certain. <laughs> Let me make sure, though. Let me make sure. Yeah, go ahead and make sure. I think I know. You're nervous. I can see one. Damn, I think I know. Are you in right though? Off of of the smell, it is. It might be. This nigga mixed my shit. (laughs) (laughs) So both of these have your classic vanilla. They have your classic. Fuck, they do. They have your classic cherry notes. Damn. Uh, I can't wait to see what you choose. I like the Wilford more because it's got a little bit more complex taste into it. The Buffalo Trace always has that fruity taste to it. So that's. The two complex, the two comparisons of the taste and the smell. Both of these, you got your classic uh, vanilla, vanilla cocoa. cherry, and a little, a little bit, bit of wood of char too. in the uh, in the smell. God definitely, damn. yeah. The vanilla and cherry are definitely staples of both of these. I think for sure. See when I smelled it at first, I thought I had it. God damn. You should have though. I think I did. So, but, so, so but, which one? So. I'm about to taste it. On my, on my right. Little bead of sweat right no, there. it's a whole bead of sweat. <laughs> it's about 15 beads of sweat. Tim Smith, here you come. Ooh, Damn. That close. I shouldn't have that voted that shit. That shit close. Fuck. I thought I had it from the scent. So I'm mad curious, right? Just based off of the scent, which one did you say was which? Now, this is not your official answer. I'm just curious off of your off of the off, smell. Off rip, off the, the one on the right hand side I thought was Buffalo Trace. Okay. I really did. Until. I got the motherfucking nose off the other one, and it's very similar, though. And I really didn't. So I, I I'm, I'm stick, I'm sticking with it. I'm saying, on my right, I'm saying it's Buffalo Trace. On my left, I'm saying what? That's Wolf just off the nose. You haven't tasted it yet. I taste, taste them. I taste, taste them both. I was curious off of the nose, though, just him smelling. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm, I'm gonna stick with like, it. The, the smell is. It's similar. See, yeah, very similar. Off but the nose, different. the one on the right to me is a Woodford. 
The one on the left is the Buffalo Trace. That's just off the nose. Haven't mm-hmm. tasted. Just off the nose. I'm sticking with my shit. <laughs> I'm confident in my shit because I fucks with Buffalo Trace. I think I know my shit. That shit get tough, mm-hmm. though, right? <laughs> it's even more you do it, right? The more you do it, yeah. You make it worse because now you're second guessing yourself. Bro. And third and fourth and fifth guessing yourself. I'm not gonna lie. When I first <laughs> when I first got the nose off that shit, I was I was convinced, but now I'm not, but I'm sticking with that shit though. I'm gonna say off the nose for me. This is my Buffalo Trace. This is my Woodford. Off the nose. This is tough. I'm truly confused now. This is tougher than I thought, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. So I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be philosophical. All right, so because now on the taste, <laughs> I, I swear, on the taste, I've switched. On the taste, which one is it? The left is the Woodford, the right is the Buffalo Trace. I've switched. The off, the taste, off, off the taste. taste. Off the taste. Off the taste. Off the taste. So I've, I've flip flop. So right now I'm going. The left is definitely the Woodford Reserve. The right is the Buffalo Trace. So I'm ready? switching too. Buffalo Trace on the left, Wilford on the right. Oh shit. Damn, so we got So that's based off of the taste. Off the taste. taste. That's off the taste. Okay. All right. So that's so what do you say? So what do you say off of the taste? I, I'm keeping it the same. same so I, same. I I I felt like the nose was the was the Buffalo Trace over here. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping that the same. I'm keeping it on my right, Buffalo Trace on my left with So uh, we all Wilford. doing the same thing. We no, he same. he backwards. He on the other side. No, of he flipped. He flipped after the nose. So, hey, so Wilford left. Hey, so was Look, that just right. was that just me betting or anybody that loses got to drink that? Nah, that's on you. That's on you, bro. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Somebody got to fuck with me, though. Hey, you know? Tim going to be sitting in the crib. No, he's the one that can't. I know my shit. This is what I drink. I know that. I, I can look at it and tell what this is. All right? Yeah, so, so, you definitely can't look at it and tell. Shit, <laughs> so, so, are we same. ready? Are we ready? Are y'all I, still, I'm still good. Ready? I'm, I'm good. good. I'm good. I'm final answer. Final, final answer, answer right? So, the Wolford is on the left. I knew that shit. Cause. Wolford's on the left. Right? I knew that shit. Cause. So like right. you, you see, what's crazy is you was gonna second guess yourself. I was. You was. I and was. Then you did second guess yourself. <laughs> did. Because if I said that's why I was asking about the smell because you know that even though those smells are similar. If it's something you drink all the time, you know. You know it, and I and I. You know when it. I smelled that shit, I knew it. You knew, right? But then right. it, it threw it, it threw it, yeah, it threw and, it off. The taste is so similar. It's so similar, dog. Now the taste is very similar. It's different. And I think this is what close. this is exactly what got me fucked up because before we before we uh, started this episode, I told you that I, I distinctly didn't like this shit. But now I understand what happened though. Maybe I had this shit too early. Like, because when I had it, it was like, hell no. But now that I've been drinking bourbons and whiskeys, like, now, it's, it's good. Like, I, that's good, yeah. I've been yeah, tripping this, this yeah. whole time. I'm fucked up yeah. because, like, I really thought this was bad. That happened with a lot of bourbons. You go yeah, back once you revisit, go back to yeah. it, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of what happened. Uh, uh, some Willet uh, bourbon, mm-hmm. the one in the pot still looking bottle, mm-hmm. yeah. like a genie bottle. I had that. Initially hated it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Came back to it about six months later. Loved it. So yeah. yeah. So it that's. Happens. I think that's exactly what happened. That's funny crazy. thing. One of my other go tos, larceny. Yeah. I hated larceny at first. Like I, I thought it was bitter. Like I couldn't stand that's the it. One drink you introduced us to yeah. that one year. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm telling. And then you. I just kept drinking it. And, and then like I don't know for whatever reason it just. It's like damn this shit. Maybe I was wrong about that. This that shit, shit grabbed me off rip. I ain't gonna hold you. So larceny grabbed me off rip. This is how I met Bo. They come to my house for a get together. He come in with this full gallon of larceny. It's like he had a whole barrel. Can't come empty handed now. Damn, that's the first time he met him. Just plopped it out. That was the first time he met him. That was the first time he met him. It was warm outside, too. Yeah. I think so, yeah. That was when I first moved back to moved back to the city. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For so sure. So he showed up with a gallon of, uh, yeah. of larceny. That was a big-ass big bottle. That was a big-ass bottle. Yeah, but that was that was a good And larceny's been good. And again, I know I mentioned this before on other shows. Because we lost that show. Hey, you know what, man? And I apologize. But we did the uh, Larceny Barrel Proof. You right. And it was a dog-ass show. And I fucked up the video and audio so we don't have it no more. But that, that was the first show that Angry Principal had been on. Yeah, that was a good-ass show. And it was a good-ass show. Like, he broke down so much shit on that show, dog. And I lost it, bro. I'm man. super mad. We got to do it again. I got a new found, like, appreciation for my sense of smell. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, like, I'm, I'm going back and, like, yeah, like, like, my back. nose is telling me this is Buffalo It's track. telling you, right? Yeah, exactly. It's telling you exactly yeah, right? what it is. But then I taste it and I was like, mm, I don't know. The, the taste. taste is very you know? similar. The, taste the smell similar. is different. But that yeah. vanilla is way overpowering this one. And when I smell it. I say way, well, from, from, from the smell. From the smell. Yeah, from the yeah. nose, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. From the taste, no, you can't tell. But when I smell it, I'm like, shit, this, this, I get drunk off this. I, I drink this. 
Well, like, initially on the nose for me, I was flip flopped. Yeah. And then once mm-hmm. I tasted, I went and uh, put I and chose the right one. So I trust my, my I trust my smell like this one. Dog, so I just I gotta go back to that again. I just gotta say this again, like dog, going if you if you had a bourbon or whiskey before that you didn't like, I suggest like maybe a a few different brands later, go back and try it again because like. I got a new respect for Wolf Reserve, though. I didn't like that shit. Like, I did not like that shit. And had no idea that it tastes this much like Buffalo Trace, which I fucking love. Right. Like, it don't even make sense. Like I got so, two good problems in front of me right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? So, when I was sitting up here, that, and, and and no wonder, like, y'all, y'all didn't see everybody off camera, but no wonder when I was talking shit about Wolf Reserve, they was looking at me like, nigga, what the fuck? If you like that, how you don't like this? And I'm thinking like, dog, because it's trash. But then I drink it like, dog, it's, it's damn near tastes the same. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different, obviously. I think it, I think the, the vanilla is a little bit more on here, or maybe or maybe even some cocoa. Some Somewhere in there is, is that kind of sweetness that, that I like in Buffalo Trace. It's a little bit less in Wolf Reserve, but not enough for me to not have liked it. Like, I don't even know what I was... It's yeah. been a long time. It's been like it's been a year or so since I had Wolf for Reserve. So like going revisiting some whiskeys or bourbons that you had before is a great idea because something that you thought that you hated, you probably end up actually liking. Your palate just wasn't prepared for it. And if you don't believe us, try the blind tasting yourself. Yeah, Man, try. Go to the bar, ask the uh, <laughs> bartender to give you two different sips and Bro. see what happens. Or if you happen to have both bottles at your house, do have somebody yeah, have somebody do it and just try it because I guarantee you that you think you know, dog. And then that shit will make you change your mind. Cause when I, since when I first smelled, I was like, "Dog, that's Buffalo Trace." Then I drank it like, "Oh, hold on, cuz <laughs> I got this all mixed up, dog." So yeah, so um, you didn't make the wager and shit, so you don't have to no, drink the home. fucking Tim Smith. No. So you know what we gonna do, dog? <laughs> For our very lucky subscribers, we gonna give away a half open bottle. Of Tim. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put it in a lifted iced tea bottle and right. you will not know the difference. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, uh, that was really it. That's, uh, we had a short show today, baby. We just want to give y'all a little blind taste and have a little fun. Uh, this is our second, this will be our second show of the, uh, of the new year. And actually, you know what? I think we'll do it like that. This is the, uh, taste testing, uh, or the blind tasting. I think we'll go ahead and wrap up season three with that one. Cause we've already done eight episodes, which has been our thing. We've been doing eight episodes a season. So we'll uh, we'll make this the season finale. <laughs> You're right. So um, what we're excited about though, which is going to happen off camera, uh, which is the reason Diddy is here. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about Duke and Dame, but you won't see that until season four. But uh, stay on the lookout for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you know that uh, every time we go live, you get to see us. And uh, I think that's it. <laughs> We gonna get up out of here and finish getting drunk. That's what we gonna do. Man. <laughs> so again, man, everybody who has supported us from season one, season two, and then now season three, and then moving forward, man, I want to thank all of y'all, everybody who hung out with us, and even some people who weren't even drinking whiskey before they started watching this podcast, man. Salute to y'all because uh, it's, it's it's actually you that we do the show for. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's the end of season three, and uh, I'll give you a shout out from. The whiskey convert, the whiskey snob, <laughs> and the proof hunter, dog. We gonna get up out of here until the next time, man. Of course, everyone loves BBW, man. Beards, bourbon, whiskey, man. I got my man Bo in the building. I say. Got my man Grizz in the building. Yo. Got my man Angry Principal holding it down. Drink what you like, when you like, For how sure. you like. Got my man Diddy getting ready to introduce us to some new shit over in the corner. <laughs> And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.